Hi, and welcome to another video from visionmaths.com, finding the equation of a line given two points. Now, as you can see here, I've mapped out a line on graph paper, and we'll be using the points minus 4, minus 1, and we'll also use the points 4, 5. Now what we're first going to do is find the gradient of the slope. This should be easy, but to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to label these points that we took earlier. So this first one is x1, the second y1, and following that, x2 and y2. This will help us later when we're trying to work out the equation. Now our slope is always referred to as m in our equations, and the equation to find the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All we need to do now is plug in our values that we found earlier. So for our y2, we just go up here, which is why it's handy writing it down, to find that our y2 value is 5. And for our y1 value, we go up here again to look at minus 1. Now don't forget your brackets here, because we can't have two minuses next to each other. And we carry on with the same for the second line, so our x2 value we can see is 4, and then our x1 value is minus 4, again adding in those brackets to keep it simple. Now I'm just going to bring the equation down a bit for some more room to work with. So we're going to further break down this equation, remembering that a minus and a minus makes a plus, so we'll cancel these two minuses out to make 5 plus 1, which gives us 6. And we'll do the same for the row below, since they're both minuses as well. So 4 minus minus 4 becomes 4 plus 4, which is 8, which gives us 6 over 8, which can be broken down to 3 over 4, or 0 0.75. Now again, it's handy to make a note of this, so we're going to write m equals 0.75, just so we have this to refer to later as we move on to the next equation. So we have our x1 is minus 4, y1 minus 1, our x2 is 4, and our y2 is 5. We also know that our m equals 0.75. So let's continue to step 2, finding the point-slope formula. Now the point slope formula is as follows, y minus y1 is equal to m, and open bracket, x minus x1, and close our bracket there, and all we need to do now is substitute in the values that we already know. So our y1, which we know is minus 1, our m, which we know now is 0 0.75, and our x1, which we know is minus 4. So let's write that equation out, substituting in the values we do know. So we'll get y minus, don't forget our brackets, minus 1 equals 0 0.75, which is our slope. And again, open our brackets, x minus, and in brackets again because it's a minus, minus 4. Now you'll probably be asked to simplify this down. So if we know we've got two minuses together, they'll make a plus. So we'll have y plus 1 equals 0.75 and then we have our x minus minus 4 which will make us x plus 4 altogether once we cancelled out those minuses. Now we're going to move on to step 3 which is solve for y to make the equation into gradient intercept form. So what we need to do here is simply work out the formula we've just created. First of all, remembering the rules of bid mass, we're going to separate out these brackets. So 0 0.75 times x remains 0 0.75x, and then 0 0.75 times 4 gives us 3. We'll leave the y plus 1 at the beginning of the equation the same before we finally solve the equation. Now all we need to do is get rid of this lingering 1 that we have here, and remember what we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other. So if we're taking 1 from here, we must also take 1 from the other side of the equal sign. If we do that, we'll look at just y on the left-hand side of the equation, followed by 0.75x plus, we have 3, but we're taking 1 from it, which gives us 2. So y equals 0.75x plus 2. We can figure out if we're correct or not by simply taking each of our coordinates we took earlier. So 0.75% of minus 4 gives us minus 3, and if we add the 2 to that, we get minus 1, which gives us our y coordinate. And the same for our second lot of coordinates. If we do 0.75% of 4, which is 3, 
plus 2 gives us 5, which is our y coordinate again. So, first we found the gradient or slope, second we found the point slope formula and used it with the values that we did know, and finally we solved y to make the equation into a gradient intercept form. Thanks for watching, and as ever, subscribe to the channel and like for more videos, or go to revisionmaths.com for more materials.